This is Star Wars Empire at War, and this is Star Wars Battlefront 2, and I am combining these two great games into one special episode of Empire at War, but it's realistic. So, let's get on to the regular intro. This is normal Star Wars Empire at War, and this is the realistic one. I am Rebel Admiral Rooster, and I am taking over the galaxy one planet at a time, fighting battles I shouldn't win. I follow this military doctrine, and am always on the run. The goal? To defeat the evil Imperial Admiral Dave. Alright, and welcome back to Star Wars Empire at War, but it's realistic, but we play every battle in Star Wars Battlefront 2. Yes, welcome to the second special episode in my Empire at War, but it's realistic series, in which you don't have to watch any of the previous episodes, you can, try to, you can kind of just use this as a way to catch up. So, as a summary, my name is Admiral Rooster, I command the Fledgling Rebel Alliance, which is the, uh, the red planets here, you can notice we don't have many of them. And I am fighting against my evil nemesis, evil Admiral Dave, who commands the uh, Galactic Empire. And as you can see, they have a lot more green planets, and we're going to try to see how many battles we can fight and how many of them I can fight in Empire War that are applicable to Battlefront 2. So that's what we're going to be doing, but first, let's open up our battle agenda to get things started. So we've got a cargo raid on Naboo that is due on uh was this week 113 if my math serves me right so we're good on that we've got a production facility that i should be getting on it seems like getting an alliance headquarters we'll get an alliance army suppression platoon we have to upgrade space stations i think i did that in the last episode so we're good there and then we also have to gain planetary control over a noat i've received a lot of suggestions regarding a noat and aluin uh, in the comments section and so I'm going to try to focus on those planets as well in the next few episodes, and today especially. But now we're going to turn on all the things. Shout out to Captain Shaq. Kind of take a look at the map here. Uh, seems like we're doing okay. Do I have money coming in? Yes. All right. Let's unpause. Take a... Oh. oh, beautiful. All right, another capital ship. Look at that. We are... We really are stacking up capital ships here, all right? This is this is not bad. Now, it seems to be that we're going to have to take out Naboo over here. We have this Kyber Crystal transport and then a space station as well. I don't want to have to deal with that. So what we're going to do is we're going to be fighting this on the ground in Empire War as the commander. And then I'm also going to be fighting it on the ground, boots on the ground, in Battlefront 2. So that's what we're going to be heading to right now actually let's see let's see who i can pull off to help me fight i want to make this more of an infantry fighting battle this time uh it seems that we've always had a lot of it, it seems we've had a lot of what is it I hear you need my service. yeah okay it seems that we've had a lot we've used a lot of tanks in the recent battles and a lot of aircraft since i'm going to be fighting this with um in Battlefront 2, we just have a few tanks in there, so I'd rather use more infantry while I can. <laughs> so I'm going to be pulling out some infantry, and we're going to send them over to Naboo. I also... Oh, there's Vader. All right, Luke, you're going to be fighting your father <laughs> shortly. Did we... Uh... Oh, beautiful. We're getting even more ships. <laughs> oh, this is good. This is, this is fantastic. We're getting... We're amassing quite a fleet here. And notably, what I need to be doing with my fleet is... Oh, we have a, another thing. An XQ-1 mistr mistress space station for an A-wing. That's not great. Um, but I will place it on one of our border planets. Actually, put it... Jabim, you're cool, but let me throw you on Kessel. Uh, I'm gonna need that. Okay, what was I saying? Oh yeah, we're building up a lot of fleets. And what I need to start doing with these fleets is use them to... Um, prevent our borders or protect our borders really we have a lot of potential enemies coming in that um, I gotta watch out for and to deter them we use our fleet to kind of keep them away all right so yeah we've oh man we actually have quite a substantial fleet here so I've got tanks on Manan defending it just a couple infantry got some air I have full fighting force and fleet on Concord Dawn okay Manan you might need might need a little more in terms of defenses, actually. I'll take one air. Put you over here, then. Uh, okay. Eridus. Eridus? 
What are you doing on Eridus? I don't even know what planet is relevant to Eridus in Battlefront 2. What can I fight here? Okay. Um, we have ground troops. We have, oh, okay. We have our own turbo lasers, which is nice. I was supposed to get a garrison post, but I don't have it. We have ground troops. We've got... They've got their own air support, Imperial Field Commander, and that. Okay. It seems that we're already getting started. Oh, boy. This is a... This is a sandy planet. This one seems to be more of a desert. Maybe Tatooine could work for this one. I might have to be creative with Battlefront 2 since I don't have I don't have Eridus. That's all right. Let's see what we got here. We got turbo lasers around, or we should have turbo lasers around, because we're gonna have a lot of dangerous air power from the enemy. We have human civilians. We got militiamen who can help us out. Just very nice. Very greatly appreciated. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Oh boy, this is going to be really tough. We're going to need a fallback point. We need to hold a position somewhere. Somewhere around here. I'm kind of looking... What I'm looking for right now is a place to set up some flak yeah. cannons. If I remember correctly, it tends to be that Dave sends his troops through the middle here. So we can kind of peck at them using our air forces. So if I move all snow speeders to the top left... We use them against the infantry. But in terms of against their air, we're going to have a little bit of a tough time. Let's see what I can do. I've got some money. We've got some stacks. But not a ton. Oh, this is a great point. I didn't even notice. We've got turbo lasers galore. Here, 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 and here. It seems like this is our only point, too, because they we have, a, we have our power generator here, which we need to defend. So... Yeah, looks like we're going to have to just kind of position ourselves accordingly there. And then pray that our flak cannon can protect us here. We can buy flak here. Alright. So, I didn't see much in the way of tanks. So I'm not really going to worry about that. I want more anti-air. Really, anti-air, please, would be greatly appreciated at the present moment. Everyone, uh, let's have you guys move out there. Give me flak, and then anti-infantry, and then we'll also... Oh, I just moved my mouse. Um, we also need... <laughs> oh, no, they have air everywhere. Oh, gosh. Okay, move, move, move. We've already got some ties coming in. A-wings. A-wings, open up on these ties. Beautiful. Okay, I see them. I see him. This is a problem already. We got lats coming in. A-wings open up. You guys, give me some Mandalorians, please. I see that point. So what this is, is it's pretty much a little mercenary recruiter. That's literally what it's called. <laughs> and what I gain from it are um, different sets of troops that I can hire. And they can help me out in the fight today. And that'll be greatly appreciated. We're going to need some anti-infantry, please. Good, good. I'm going to need those mercenaries shortly. All right, give me some more anti-infantry. Anti we got a lot of turbo lasers, so we don't need to worry about those tanks as much. Turbo lasers are really good anti-tank and sometimes anti-air weaponry. But in terms of anti-infantry, not good at all. <laughs> they are they're quite poop. All right. I think we've got some contact over here. We got incoming. We got... Oh, boy. Oh, brother. Open fire on this guy. Open up on him. Open up on him. Come on, air. Anti-air. Hit him hard. Yes. Yes. Take out the... Oh, ho, ho, ho. All right. Beautiful. Now let's get moving. We've got their infantry coming in. Troops, watch out. They're going to be coming in against you. Start using the air. All right, all right, all right. Uh, what else do we got? All right. Looks like we're doing okay. Everyone get down. Get into firing position. Start opening up on these guys. Where are my snipers? You got to pull back. I don't want you out in the front. Excellent work. Good stuff. Okay. That's their first wave down. <laughs> I see. Seems like our snow speeders can't 
dogfight against TIE fighters. I'll just have to keep them at bay. Snow Sputers, pull out. Get away from those TIEs. You can't do anything about them. Use our anti-air. All right, all right. Good job. Good job. All right. We got their hero down. We got our troops on the ground. Everyone's holding up in a great defense. I think they're going to try to retreat. Man, if Dave really tries to retreat, that would be an excellent first battle. Now, the real question is, what the heck am I going to do with <laughs> this planet? I think this is more like, this kind of reminds me of Utapau. So I can fight on Utapau on the ground with Battlefront 2, and that should be, uh, should be pretty good. All right, I got bunkers. Snow speeders, I want some eyes on what's going on. I want some scouting activity, please. Try to throw me in. Throw me a bone. We got some infantry, okay. Got a lot of infantry, actually. What's going on here? Got army troops everywhere. Huh. All right. Do a couple strafing runs on them. Get these ones as well. Kind of moving on their position. Now pull back. Pull back. Get out of there. Hmm. Air is really good against infantry. They have some uh, some solid burst shots. Oh, good. Those rockets didn't get you. All right, so we've got some more troops coming in, essentially. We've got some tanks. See if you can hit that guy from here. Nice job. Good shot. I'll give you eyes. Give you eyes. Bring in the snow speeders. Snow speeders. Hit the infantry and protect our turret. I want you guys to do the same. I know it's going to be a tough job, but I think you got it. Snow speeders, don't, don't get stuck in a dogfighting routine. Just kind of move in and out. In and out. Good stuff. Good hits. Good hits. Excellent work. See, they're really good against groups of infantry. Alright, guys. Kind of chill there. Infantry. I don't know if we need those mercenaries. I'll keep you in mind, but not now. You guys pull back. Getting hit too hard. Oh, pull back, pull back. Get my snow speeders out of there. Snipers? You could use the support. Where are my snipers? I want you to go around. Go around and start giving some support to that turbo laser. It seems like they're going to try to hit our power generators while they can. Focus on this guy. Don't don't shoot at the infantry. I should have been macroing you. I'm sorry. Beautiful. It was, it was, a, it was a eye for an eye there. I lost a turbo laser, but I also was able to take out their tanks, so that's helpful. So Empire at War is a, a real-time strategy game in which the mod authors for the past, gosh, I don't even know how long Awakening of the Rebellion has been in development for. I think since 2009? These guys have completely transformed this old game, and it's it's honestly incredible. I mean, take a look at this. This none of these features were really in the original game. Sure, there were snow speeders, but all this stuff is it's just completely revamped, and it's wonderful how how dedicated the fan base is, the Star Wars fan base is, and it's commendable. So shout out to the Awakening of the Rebellion team, this Awakening of the Rebellion 2.9, and um, also shout out to the Rebel Sim development group as well. Look at that. Look at that. Wonderful victory. <laughs> I Wow. It was flawless victory, to be honest. We had Eridus. We defended it. And now, I think we're going to fight on Utapau. So I'll be right back. All right. And we're in on Utapau. See, it kind of looks like the planet we were fighting on. But this is a little bit different. There's still some sandy tones. But it also has that kind of metallic, industrialized look. So welcome to GCW 1035. This is a mod for Empire or for Battlefront 2. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, in which it changes the original Star Wars Battlefront 2 classic and makes it more like the Battlefront the 1 EA, which I never was able to play, um, just because I never had the computer that was capable at the time. It came out when I was in high school, early high school, and. Um, I didn't have any consoles or anything to play that game, so I kind of missed out on it in, uh, on that kind of era, but uh, not really. I got to play this lovely mod as a result. Oh boy. Okay, they are strafing. Oh my gosh. So for the most part, um, kind of going along with, with that, <laughs> I kind of missed a whole generation of Star Wars games because I just never had... Uh, any consoles. I never had a computer. 
It was just kind of one of those things where it wasn't in the cards for me at the time. And and so I have a I have a deep respect for the folks who kind of kept and I got I'm getting spawn killed. I have a deep respect for the folks who who kind of kept uh, the original classic Star Wars Battlefront alive and also Empire of War because those are the only games I really played besides Gary's Mod. Man, Gary's Mod. Jeez Louise, that was the game of my childhood. Because if I couldn't hang out with my friends, uh, I'm, I'm a little bit more of an extrovert. <laughs> I need to get that the kind of social fix. Um, and so I'd play, I'd play Gmod. <laughs> I couldn't hang out with my friends. Uh, and we just kind of, we'd hang out on there, or we'd, we'd play, I, I played um, with just like randos and different multiplayer lobbies and stuff. And gosh, man, it's one of those, the few things that I played in my, in my high school time. I always tell people I have three games that I play on Steam. It is uh, Star Wars Empire at War, Star Wars Battlefront 2, the original classic, not the classic collection that just came out, the classic original one, and um, <clears throat> Gary's Mod, <laughs> GMI. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm not too picky when it comes to games. I, I've I've been following Empire War mods for so long just because I didn't have much much of an option. Anyway, all right. So in this <laughs> in this battle, I'm kind of taking a lot of L's right now uh, in terms of <laughs> this fight. Yeah, it seems that we can't really hold a good position down. So I'm gonna plan this out. All right, troops, let's put a turret down here. I'm hitting my own guy. We need to hold. Oh, man, we gotta hold down on. A single position we really can't the Empire is pushing us hard they got less reinforcements than us but it'll soon turn around if they keep being this aggressive like my goodness gracious we have to be more aggressive too because this is our command post we're defending troops oh my oh my oh my gosh oh my goodness gracious what is happening here Man, I didn't know that. <laughs> I didn't know. Forget. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know who to pass such a tough, tough planet to hold. That was a tough battle for the clones, but geez, Louise. Oh my. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> All right. Bad spawn. So. I apologize for the, the neck-breaking speed of the intro for this episode. I just kind of... God, I really wanted to play Empire at War so badly. I wanted to play anything, really. Um, just because the past... If you'll notice, it's been a few weeks since I've uploaded on this channel. And uh, my other channel, my tech channel, I haven't uploaded in so long. Also, wow, I'm playing as Lando Calrissian. He has explosive shot. And... Uh, a night sniper. <laughs> uh, DL44 it looks like. And then a power blast. I don't know what that does. Anyway, uh, I've, I've wanted to play something so badly. I've been taking a lot of time from my fun, which would be YouTube, uh, just to focus on school. And because it, 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 it was coming, it's been coming down to the wire, if I'm being honest. Like, it's, it's just a lot of time. This is the um, like stereotypical hardest semester for pharmacy. It's called ID, infectious disease, uh, antibiotics, antivirals, the whole shebang. And also, I'm I'm getting absolutely wrecked right now. Well, the thing is that <clears throat> we're we're learning a lot of different antibiotics. We have to memorize a ton of different things, and I just. The amount of time it spends for it takes for me to record and stuff, I just don't have uh, just like a given period of time where I wasn't able to. And so because of that, gosh, I was just so eager to play. So if I if I had a little bit of a fast intro, I apologize. <laughs> I've just been it's just been really 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 tough time. I got to tell you, I, I'm I'm quite thankful for the people in my life who have kind of helped me through it. You know, I'm not even done with it yet, to be honest. You know, uh, my girl, my my friends my family like uh, it's 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 a uh, it's not easy when you're going through these these tough scenarios and I'll tell you guys more about that later throughout the episode but 
right now, uh, we've got a good position, actually. Great. Fantastic. We've got them boxed in. Hit them hard, troops. I can't get this one guy. Bada bang, bada boom. All right. Let me use this explosive shot here. All right. Hey, watch out, watch out, honor guard. Watch out behind you, buddy. Watch out behind you. I'll protect you, I'll protect- Oh, I can't protect you, never mind. I tried, I tried. Oh my gosh. So here's a game I play in Battlefront 2. It's protect one guy. I- I'm sorry, buddy. I couldn't protect you. It's over me. <laughs> oh no. Okay, okay, okay. We're getting hit by a lot. Hang on there. Alright, everybody. Kind of take point here real quick. Boom. Boom, boom. Uh, okay. Let me get behind these barricades here. Excuse me. Sorry. Flanking real quick. Don't mean to flank you guys, but I do. Oh boy. Alright. Come on, fellas. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. I got that. Let me let me use the tank as something to detonate my uh, my rocket shots onto. Oh, oh, this guy is smart. He is very smart. Using the tank. Oh, and he got me. He got. I had, they have one reinforcement left, and he got me. That is, that is so sad. <laughs> he's just running around, and he's gone. Ah, oh, God, I love this game. It's just such good arcadey fun, and I think I would have liked the original Battlefront, but uh, wow, I died a lot. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of casualties on my end. They're just pure deaths for me. So, hang on, let me go back into Empire War real quick, BRB. All right, and we are back into things. So, taking a look at the galactic map, we've got a lot of ground that we should be covering. But in terms of uh, planets that are applicable to Battlefront 2, I'm thinking, okay, I'm thinking. First, looking at the battle agenda, we got to take out, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? Cargo raid, we got to get Naboo. First on the agenda is Naboo, and then right after that in the battle agenda, we also have to gain planetary control of Anoat. So if we can take those two, I think we can take out Naboo and Anoat, and then there's maybe one more planet we can shoot for if we have time, but that's kind of what I'm going to go for for this episode. So, I, I don't know. <laughs> so, I've been sending a few forces to Naboo. I'm kind of scared. Darth Vader, okay, Darth Vader comes with some very... Very powerful troops. Oh, oh, nice. We got A wings. Okay, he comes with some very powerful troops. <laughs> oh, Manan. Okay, what's going on with Manan? Oh, poo. Oh, my GR seventy five. <laughs> gotta pull him out of there. Excuse me. All right, buddy, we gotta get you out of here. Gotta get you out of Manan. Anyway, what was I saying? Darth Vader comes with some very powerful troops that I'm gonna show you guys. They are incredibly nice. They're incredibly useful, and I, I don't know if we can defeat them easily, <clears throat> but I think I have an idea of how I'm gonna take out Naboo, okay? Naboo's probably going to have some militia that can fight with us, hopefully, and if they do, if Naboo does have militia, that'll be... A great asset to our war effort. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of our massive fleet in Concord Dawn. I'm going to take that and I'm going to move them over to Sullis just real quick because I'm going to need some fighters on hand to be able to take out that, um, what, what is this? The Gozanti freighter. So, oh! Okay. <laughs> okay. We've got a turbo tank on the ground, we've got Darth Vader, and we've got some AT infantry. We also have an outpost. Meanwhile, we got a lot of infantry. I don't want to use a tank for this round. Uh, it would be helpful, but I kind of want the challenge. So first things first, we're going to save. <laughs> oh, gosh. Uh, let's throw you in for three. We're going to save, and then we're going to go We're gonna go into this. <laughs> Let me throw in Leia. So, like I was saying, we might have some, some Naboo support. Which is kind of what I'm banking on here. Since there is especially a tank. Oh, perfect. Okay. We do have support. And the turbo tank is right here. Can we jump him? Turbo tank is right here. Who do I have that's fast? Oh, I actually don't know if that's a smart idea. What is this? 
Nabu Royal Guard Hangar spawns a limited amount of Geon and Flash speeders. See, if we can surround this guy right here, that would be excellent, but I know that's going to be kind of a tough fight. I'm going to try it, though, actually. I want some troops that are good against tanks, though, and I don't know if we got any of that. What do we got? Okay, so I think you guys have proton charges, right? You got one guy with a proton charge. What about you? You have ionizers, concussion grenades. We pretty much just need guys with grenades, and then you have a rocket launcher? Proton charge, proton charge. Okay, no, you don't have any rockets. We don't have rockets. <laughs> Oh, we need rockets. That's what we're looking for. We got proton charges, though. Four carbine plus um, proton charges. We got four proton charges. We got snipers. Definitely can use some snipers. Okay. And then we have Luke. We have to have Luke. I'll be there. He's going to fight against uh, Papa Vader. You guys, what are you again? You're, you guys have flash grenades, proton charges, vehicle thieves. I'll use vehicle thieves. Definitely could use them. Definitely going to need those guys. I'm going to need um, Renegade Squadron. Vehicle saboteurs, yep, 100% going to need you. Building saboteurs, you guys are. Building. Well, you got boom booms, so I could I could use them. Some explosives would be very helpful in this moment. Um, more vehicle thieves, let's see, you guys. Snipers, I'll use some snipers to get that infantry. Building saboteurs, you got some grenades, and then a Fire team, fire team, fire team, fire team. All right. Oh, Lord, this is actually not great. <laughs> I don't think this is actually a good scenario for us. All right, what do we got here? Oh, beautiful. Okay, so there's there's the turbo tank right there. Oh, watch it, buddy. Watch it. Hmm. <laughs> hey, uh, okay, so the turbo tank's retreating. So you... See if you can run up this hill, try to capture this point, you're dead. You're, you're dead, okay. Alright, that's cool. That's cool. Uh, it is great to have you with us, Commander Skywalker. Okay. Ooh, ooh, that's not good. They're already starting to hit us. They're starting to hit this Gungan dwelling and they haven't even done anything. Oh, that's so sad. That's not good, that's not good. We're losing, we're losing free units here that we could, we could kind of benefit from. Well, that's okay. Gonna send you up. You bum rush there. Yeah, we lost it. And I don't even have eyes. Mm. I can kind of bank on that. You see that right there? That, um... This bunker right here? If we can kind of hide there and use our troops, just leverage that a little bit. Because we don't have much to leverage, to be honest. Um, th there's just not a lot that we can use. But... If I can use that right there, that would be very helpful. Also, also, I did see that there's turret emplacements. If I can use those, that would also be very helpful. Question is, I can't. Dang it, I can't. Okay. Troops, how far away are you? If we can take this out real quick, that would be greatly... That would be so helpful for our war effort. Where are you? Get in there. Get in there, hit him with a rocket, hit him with a rocket. Take this guy down. Where, okay, hold on. Do we have anything that's, that does ion damage? Anything, anything ion damage, please? No ion damage, okay. Focus fire on this guy, focus fire on him. Speeders pull back. Get out of there, get out. Everyone, get down. Heavy fire on them, we got the turbo tank, we got some tanks coming in, actually. Um, okay, hold on. Let me get it. Let me get eyes on here. We need to take out that turbo tank. He's going to be providing a ton of fire support. Um, we can use these tanks to help out. It seems that. Oh, fantastic! We got an ATPT. We got an ATPT that's down. I need to use a vehicle thief while he's ioned. Get up there and start running. Wherever you are, run. Take that. We need it. We can use a tank. Go. You. Go back. Nope, get back, get back, get back. Everyone, I want a firing line on here. Firing line here. Luke, watch it. I need you to pull back. Where's our other guy? I need this. This is, it's got a light, long range. Oh, that's Vader. Oh, that's Vader. Luke, Luke, I need you to run. 
Run. Get out and run. There's not a chance that you can take out Vader on your own. Vader's coming in. He's coming in hot. Okay, okay. Let's see what we can do here. He's alone. We might be able to kind of kind of hit him hard. So everybody get down. Get down and get funky. Aim for this guy. Hit him hard while we can. He's running for it. Excellent, excellent. Now he's running. Now that he's turned, take this tank. Where's Luke? Luke? Now he's turned, you run back. Okay, go back, go back. Everyone, okay, pause. Everyone, fall back. Fall back immediately. Pull back, all troops, get back. Everybody. Everybody run. Move, get out. Okay, that was a great first assault. Fantastic job. We just need something that can heal these tanks, and I don't have anything. Ah, uh, yikes. Okay. I got a flash speeder. I got you. Give me eyes on something. Is there anything that we can build back there that can heal up our troops and or our tanks? That would be so helpful if there is. Hold position here. Build up a fire line. Vader's still out there. He's going to be healing. Same with Luke. Luke, I think we've got medics that we can use. Oh, yeah. Snipe those guys, please. Start hitting their infantry. Don't let them get too close. And also make sure these guys don't get there. Hey, 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 hey. Don't, don't, don't go too far here. All right, capture that point. Speeders. Oh, yikes. Naboo is not an easy planet to fight over. If we can get this turret right here, that would be greatly beneficial. You aim for this guy. He's going to be hitting our troops, and he's anti-infantry. We don't want it. We don't want any any bad business with him. Where's Paige? Paige, you've got medics. Get up here. Start healing our troops. All right. Do we have another vehicle thief on hand? No, they're both used. <laughs> oh, this is kind of a hard battle, to be honest. Um. Snipers, you're not supposed to be that far up, to be honest. And we've got some 501st troops. Look at them. Oh my gosh. This is the infantry I was talking about. These are this is the dangerous infantry that we can't really can't really fight alone easily. Alright. Alright, alright. Hit them while you can. Hit them while you can. You fall back into the shield generator. And then everyone start getting down. Get down to the ground. Snipers, get up. Gungans, get up. Geon speeder, hit him with your rockets, please. Where am I? Where are my honor guard? You guys, I love you guys. You're so cool. I need you in the front because you can take a lot of damage. Please do that for me. Okay, stay there. Stop, stop moving. Stop moving. Okay, Luke, where are you, buddy? Okay, you're doing well. Whatever you do, just don't let them take this point. Snipers, where are my snipers? Hit them. Alright. There's nothing we can really do from this position. I'll get some anti-infantry if I can and maybe bait them. But, no, there's nothing capturable either. Unless there's something here. Unless in this corner we can capture something. Speeders? Anything? Ah, nothing. It's just an empty space. Oh, gosh. There's the turbo tank. There's Vader. My snipers are moving in too far. That was my fault. I'm going to lose my snipers just because of that. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You turned into a crisp. Oh. But we do have a position here. Luke, you have speed. You can run. Do me a favor. See if you can get to this position. Snipers, I want you to fall back. And let's bring up troops who can run, in case we need to run. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay! All troops! Defend this position. 
Unless they start firing on it, that's gonna be unfortunate. Defend this position. Flash speeder awaits your command. We need this. If we get this bunker turret online, he can help us out against the fight against the turbo tank. That turbo tank, very tough. Very hard to defeat. Luke, my friend. Oh no, they're coming in. Luke, buddy, I need you to get some anti-vehicle turret online as well. That'll help us against that turbo tank too. Literally anything that's anti-vehicle, we need. You, no, 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 you are not good at tanking any forces. I need you to pull back. Don't go that far. Where's my other tank? Good, ATAP. Fantastic. Troops begin spreading out procedures. Excellent work, actually. This is uh, not too shabby, uh, I will admit. You know, it's kind of just been... We've just kind of been moving inch by inch here. We seem to be having a little bit of a firefight. Somebody's shooting at you? Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. It's an anti-vehicle turret. Hmm. You got proton charges, right? Building saboteur. Do me a favor. Show me what you got. Get over there and hit him. Hit him hard with that. Did you, you do anything? Proton torpedoes, anything? Good. Okay, run back. Get back, get back, get back. You don't have great... <laughs> you're not great at it, but hey, you know what? At least you did something. Alright, I'm gonna need some... I need eyes. Where are my Gungan? Where are my Gungans here? Alright, guys. There he is. There he is. That's the turbo tank. That's our guy. Watch out, Gungans. Don't die now. Hey buddy, you are facing the wrong direction. <laughs> I need you. I need you as an assault position, not defense. He has to turn all the way around <laughs> to get to where we need to go. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing over there? The turbo tank's moving around. Seems like he's not repositioning. Dave knows what he is. Dave knows what he's doing. He knows that he has to kind of defend this area, and I'll be picking at him piece by piece. All right, come on. Alright, you really need to turn. Please turn. Oh, okay. What is this? See if you can hit that anti-vehicle. See if you can hit him. You, turn, run. Run, run, run. Get out. Get out. Hit that thing. Hit it. You missed. Oh, oh my gosh. I'm losing Gungans for you. Please! Please! <laughs> Why? Alright. That turbo tank is right here, though. He is right here. If you can just spot us a little bit more. There. Okay, buddy, you gotta turn. You gotta turn, get out of there. Hit him, hit him! Hit him! Okay, hit this one then. Ugh. <laughs> I have to. I think I have to do it. I gotta commit to it. That's so stupid. I can't. I can't just sit here and allow them to kind of fight for me. Fine. I guess it is what it is. I wish I could sell this thing now because if I could sell it, then I can get some vehicle repairs or infantry repairs. Because I know this is gonna be a tough fight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, troops. Where are my honor guard? All right, guys. Let's Looks like down. they're trying to poke at us, too. Honor Guard, watch it. Watch it. We're going to be doing a little bit of macro here. Where are my snipers? We have to pick them apart piece by piece, and the only way I can do that is with my snipers. Did I lose them? No, they're still here. Where? Okay. Get up to this, this section a little bit further inland. All right, so we baited them a little. Baited them a little bit. Hit that turbo tank. Hit that turbo tank. Nice, nice, nice. It's being repaired, though. Pooh. Hit that thing, then. I'm losing honor guards here. Come on, guys. Hide in there. Yikes. Okay. That wasn't really fruitful. Mm -mm. Oh, but the turbo tank's coming in. Oh, the turbo tank's coming in. Okay, everybody. Fire positions now. Get down. Hit him hard. Hit the turbo tank. He's being healed by something. Hit him. Aim for him. We need eyes on that turbo tank. 
All right, everybody, push up a little bit. Snipers, stay put. We got ground troops. Now we're committed. Now we're committed. Okay, Luke. Watch out for Vader, everybody. Watch out for Vader. He can take out infantry very easily. Stop moving, everyone. Stop moving. Aim for that turbo tank. Oh, we're going to lose this guy. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. All right, now turn about. Start hitting him. No, don't get into that position. You're going to die. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, stability fire. Hit him. Come on, come on, come on. We got him ioned. Nice job, everybody. Nice job. Finish the job. Take out their troops. Vader's over there. We're going to have to kind of go after him here, it seems. Vader's just kind of hiding, it looks like. Dude's really, really hiding and staying put now. Hit that bunker. Hit that bunker while you can. While we have eyes on it, hit him now. Speed up time. I lost a troop from what? I heard somebody go down. Oh, it's a Gungan. No, Gungan, come back, buddy. What happened? Where's our medic? Where's Paige? Paige! Paige, man, we need you up front. Heal our troops. I know you have a medic in the group. Lieutenant Paige is a fantastic infiltrate with a medic. You can see he's healing some of our troops here. Hide, use that medic to defend everybody while we bankrupt Dave by using <laughs> We got an occupier tank, watch it. Jeez Louise, you got anti-vehicle too. Can we take that occupier? Can you take that thing? No, it looks like you can't, okay. But you can take that, I see that ATPT over there. Oh my gosh, we're just <laughs> we have to go so slow. I don't want to lose my infantry because I know Vader has an ability that force chokes everybody. Everybody. I don't want to deal with that. I do not want to deal with that. You, turn, take that. You, I don't think you've helped in this fight at all. It would be really nice if you could. I don't think you can. But, um, yeah. <laughs> Luke, help against this turret, please. Hit him with your lightsaber or something. Pull that guy out. Nice job. We got a counterattack coming in. Everybody get down. Oh, you're already down. Watch out for the counterattack. We got Vader. Everyone focus fire on him. Focus fire on that guy. Hit him hard. Oh, he's killing my troops. He is getting them right now. He is. Oh, my gosh. Page. Page. And, oh, thank goodness. I have these guys. Oh, Leia, though. Leia, you gotta get out. Leia, hide on the turret. Hide on the turret, Leia. Okay, looks like we got Paige, and I still have Renegade Squadron. Fantastic, we didn't lose him to Vader. Our troops mop up the rest. I lost a lot, though. Oh, my gosh. Oh, no. <laughs> Where's the honor guard? Honor guard, get up there. Be honorable. Move up, move up. Push up there. Vader took a lot with him. Gosh, this guy. How rude. All of my troops. Oh, now I'm furious. Now I'm angry. That guy got me all sorts of angry. I don't sound angry at all either. <laughs> Alright, Bunker Turret. I need you to start aiming for this guy if you can. Uh, where are my speeders? I have any more speed? No, but I do have Gungans. I do have Gungans. Gosh, what a fight. Oh my goodness gracious. Looks like we're doing well just kind of sticking here for now. Uh, we don't have much to risk. <laughs> like, we don't have many troops that we can risk. The low HP and everything that we have. It's not good to just kind of bring in people. We're bringing the Gungans, though. Go Gungans. Go get them. Oh, my gosh. What a victory. Woohoo! All right. Man. But we got Vader. 
All right, apologies for that. I had to take a quick phone call. But uh, now that I'm getting kind of back into things, I'm going to kind of build up a lot of infrastructure because I realized I was kind of playing around with everything. Pause, but I was looking at, like, what is going on in the galactic map. And, yeah, I have not, <laughs> I have not been tending to the current planets that we have. I've just kind of been focusing on the campaign, like, getting more. So uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just getting more more infrastructure more things to add to our units i believe it's time to attack a noat so i'm going to take Riken. i'm going to take you over i'm going to bring you here because that that battle that battle of nabu was actually kind of tough i'm not gonna lie so i kind of want some i want some assistance there matter of fact let's let's start boosting manan because i think to be honest, uh, it's not that we can defend Solace, it's that I kind of want to pull troops off of Manan. So, kind of bring those guys over and we can use them later on. Moreover, let's start building up our fleet that's going to attack this Gazanti and then pull off the other troops and bring them over to Ennoat. So, kind of kind of start working at it. Where are my, where's my fleet? Is this my fleet? Yeah, this is the fleet right here. Alright, gonna have you guys here. And Manan is under attack. Are you serious? <laughs> Are you serious? I just sent troops over. Oh, they're on their way too. Is that them right there? I think that's them. All right. Uh, we've got infantry. A whole lot of infantry. Seems like Manan is... <laughs> okay. All right. So we've got troops here. Seems like... Ooh, this is actually not a great not a great planet <laughs> this, is, this is not a good position i can kind of have you here and maybe hold off this spot this big area we can use as a flank they'll probably bring their infantry here that's fine i can i can try that all right so i guess i have to fight on naboo and some industrialized planet in battlefront 2 let's go grab that okay let's uh let's move the tank over Let's move you over. What do we have here? So I've got a little garrison post. Small one. I've got my X-Wings, which can kind of scout around. I also have... I should have... Yeah, I have X-Wings, and I have my T-47 airspeeders. So these guys, and then where are my airspeeders? Can I grab you as well? Okay. X-Wings, you'll be in control one. Uh, airspeeders, you'll be in control two. What do we have here? Do we have locals that are fighting against us? Oh, we do. Oh, that's interesting. Who are you fighting? Who are you going after? Other locals? <laughs> I guess. Oh, we've got a turret here. That's good to know. That's helpful. Alright, snow speeders, go around. Use your shields, Garm. Watch out for the infantry. They're going to be kind of pouring out of these buildings. X-Wings, use those proton torpedoes and take out the uh, these spawns for the... Who are these? Are these human militia? Yeah, it's just human militia. Okay. They're not great, but they definitely do the, they do the job. Um, they can definitely effectively hurt my troops a little bit. I don't think they're benefiting or they're helping out the Empire much. Like, I think they'd fight the Empire too. But they're not going to help me out. Oh, wow. Okay, Garm. You can't even go this way. This is infantry only. Oh, wow. And the hover tank. Okay, you guys, get over here. Infantry, go this way. Huh, that's, that's kind of, that's bad. All right, we got field commander with some ties. Okay, we've got tie fighters. So no speeders go back. TIE Fighters and a lot of infantry. That's a situation. Okay, that's a, that's a situation and a half. Give me a vehicle repair. I want to bring Garm Bell Iblis over here. Let's get all the vehicles this way. Garm, move that way. Gosh, I needed some better intel. Oh, nope, nope. Get out of there. Get out. Get out of there, Wedge. Who hit you? Was it a rocket? Must have been. Man, that's crazy. Okay. Here's the plan. We're going to need to hold this position or else they're going to be able to uh, make flak. Because if they grab this, they're going to put a flak cannon down. There goes my ability to take out their troops. I'm going to put it back to, the, back to there to kind of heal up my infantry. It's not great. 
it's not really going to help us that much, but it's just kind of to ward them off from doing something that we don't want them to do. Um, Wedge, you're going to go there. You're going to take cover. Just kind of sit on by. Everyone else, get out of flight mode. I want my X-Wings at bay. I don't want you to go too far. But just kind of strafe them right now. Hit the infantry as best you can. I see those rockets. That's what hit Wedge. Must have been, yeah. So it's the AT infantry. I see him. Get out of there. Get out. Let's see what we got. So we have army troopers. How am I snow speeders? Okay, we've got army troopers, snipers. Where? Ah, the stormtrooper rocketeers. There they are. All right. Aim for those guys. Aim for them. Okay. Good thing we've got Garm here. Start hitting that guy. And stay within this radius. Stay within the radius of our... Of our Healy boy. Alright. I got kind of worried. <laughs> it said unit destroyed. I got kind of scared. I thought I lost... Uh, one of my... One of my starfighters. Wedge, I need you to go back there. Please. Get out of there. Meanwhile, everyone else... Keep using super speed. I don't want you to get stuck. If you get stuck, they're going to hit you with those those rockets, and that's not going to be good news for you. There's just a lot of infantry, my gosh. Are we done with the rockets? Are they done? Are we done with that? Anymore? Seems like it. Okay. Attack formation. Wedge buddy, you can come around now since they're out of rockets. Unless there's more here. We got some grenadiers. Huh, must be an Imperial prison. Uh, not helpful right now. Not helpful. We gotta take out this infantry. Aim for the infantry. And we got more over here. Ooh. X-Wing, stay back. Stay back. They're gonna start hitting you really hard. Mm -mm -mm, not good. Not good. We don't want to get on the offensive too much. You can see that our snow speeders are also taking a bit of a beating. Is that a mercenary outpost? Oh, yes it is! So this is a mercenary outpost. Beautiful map, my gosh. Whoever made this is, is just incredibly talented. This is a mercenary outfitter in which we can hire specific troops like Mandalorians and whatnot. And they can kind of help us out in the war effort. Given our current situation, I would greatly appreciate some Mandos. Let's get out of here, Rogue 2. Don't 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 go too far. At least with the snow speeders, I don't have to worry about them too much. But here, that's a little bit of a situation. Okay. Garm hit him. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Holy moly, these things are good. Oh my goodness! I am I am just astounded at the power of these things. Garm, start moving back. Fall back. Get out of there. I want... I want X-Wings here. I want Snow Speeders here. They are actually taking out the one thing that can tank. The one thing that can tank this. Oh my goodness. Keep falling back. Just keep falling back. The X-Wings will handle it. Okay, they did. Now go repair. Wow, that was insane. They got another one. What is this? What's with the range of these things? Again, fall back. He's going to hit you. What are these? Are these TX-130s? Oh, oopsie. Oh, no. Mandos, we're going to need some help here. We're going to need some help. I got to focus on Garm. I can't lose him. Iblis, get over there. X-Wings, help out over here. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness gracious. Hit them, hit them hard. Hit the infantry while you can. Good job, okay. Alright, Iblis, I'm going to need you to kind of just, just sit there and heal because that 
Wow. <laughs> wow. That was crazy. Okay. All right, troops. Yeah, I appreciate your credits, too. Or, I mean, your assistance. Hit that guy. I think you got some flamethrowers, right? That's right. That's right. All right, where's their infantry? Snow speeder X wings kind of just sit by. Let's have the Mandalorians perform some of the aggressive part of here. Aha! Aha! Good, good. Take out the rest of their infantry. They almost got Garmbo Obelisk. We do not. We do not like these guys. Absolutely not. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right. Whoo! Ooh, that's a good victory. All right. Man, that was great. Oh, wow. All right, and now that I'm feeling so good, let me pause the game. We have some shout outs to do uh, because we had a uh, we had an event on our Discord in which a lot of our community members, wonderful community members, had submitted screenshots for um, their favorite Empire War games. And so if you look at the screen right now, you can see a screenshot from one of our very active members, Residential Ramen. Check it out. You got three Venators. I think this is in Fall of the Republic. Three Venators and Architens. Beautiful explosion. It's an incredible shot. Definitely symbolic of um, what was going on in my last series, Republic at War, but it's realistic. You know, the standard three Venator fleet for Clone Wars. It's beautiful. Huge shout out to Residential Ramen, an amazing community member. And uh, at this point, I would recommend anybody who's watching this video to check out our Discord. You can participate in different Star Wars discussion, and you can just be a part of the community a little bit more. It's beautiful. And also, now that we're talking about shout outs, shout out to this guy right here. I, I don't know if I'm going to pronounce his name right, but it's Disco and Demion. In, in the last episode, he, he told me that uh, I apparently. Some of my uh, <clears throat> Alliance Envoys are like paying Imperial credits, essentially paying for the Imperials. There's a symbol that if I if I select it or if I put my troops on it, it, it means that the Envoy is right here is pretty much paying the Imperials. <laughs> So it's it's a plus and minus symbol. Uh, this is kind of a this was a terrible example because I, I just I'm paying them now. But essentially, he's so bad that he starts paying for the Imperial bills. So I won't do that again, or at least I'll try not to. It's kind of a small symbol, and my screen's kind of small. But thank you very much for that suggestion, and let's keep let's keep moving, actually. Oh, now that I saved, hold on, now that I saved, let's move to Battlefront 2. We got Naboo to fight for, and we had, we just took out, well, we, defend, we defended Manan. Perfect. All right, and so we're now on Naboo. Kind of symbolic of the battle that we were fighting on. We've got some Naboo forces fighting over Theed in the nighttime, so it's a little darker here. Look at this map. Say, so I'm playing the same mod, GCW 1035. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Huge firefight. Take cover. Everybody get down. Oh my goodness gracious. Jeez Louise. Alright, nobody's taking cover except me. Seems like I'm the only, I'm the only one who's doing that. Not a popular thing to do in these parts. Um, gosh, man, jeez Louise. So I was talking about talking about school and whatnot, how it, it was it's been a little bit on the difficult side as of recent. I mean, it always is. Um, and it's been it's been kind of frustrating. Uh, I'm kind of bothered by the fact that Bad Batch, you know, a really fantastic show. Is is releasing <laughs> during the school semester. I love it when Bad Batch season one was airing during the um, during the summer for me in 2021, the first season, because I was really able to enjoy it. I'm one of those guys, you know. I, I'm I am kind of nerdy. I'm, I'm pretty quirky with that. Uh, I I really enjoy the animation. It's it's just Clone Wars. I just I think I just shot my own homie. That was karma. Um, no, and so. I, I haven't been able to enjoy it as much in stressful situations, you know, I just can't really enjoy the things that I want to. I guess that's natural for most people, but it's 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 difficult for me because the show is pretty good. You know, it, it's it's pretty solid. I, I do have my gripes with it, I'll admit. Um, for instance, I really like that they're... Oh my, oh my gosh. I really love it when the Bad Batch is acting cool. 
I, I just love it when the heroes that I'm watching, they, they act like heroes, you know? Um, they're, they just, they're, they're, they're solid. Red to watch, you know, I still like my action heroes and whatnot. And, and sometimes, or I, I feel like I, I just want more of it. <laughs> so I guess it's not a gripe. But some things, like, I, I'd love to see more drama among the group in particular. I, I'd love to see it. If if they kind of show a little bit more emotion toward each other, like, sometimes they're, they're, um, they're resolute, or they're, they're, there are conflicts within the group, just like any, any, any team. It, it's not just uh, things resolve after one episode. You kind of have things that, that happen that take a while, or things that will never get resolved. And, and for me... When it comes to Star Wars shows, I always value them based on what I learn. You know, it is, again, pretty nerdy and kind of academic, but when it comes to... Also, I'm... Jeez Louise, we are getting flanked up the wazoo and surrounded. When it comes to Star Wars shows, you know, there's a lot that I, I love about uh, Clone Wars. My favorite show is Clone Wars and Rebels and Bad Batch. And the lesson I derived out of the many, there are many in these shows, is Clone Wars is... I've learned a lot about duty and honor with the clones in particular, with Rex, leadership. And with Rebels, for instance, I've learned about uh, acceptance of, I'm so sorry, uh, this poor guy, acceptance of oneself with, with Kanan, for instance, this blindness. And um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to learn from Bad Batch or what, what is really being taught. And I think ultimately with with that show, it's, it's kind of about how to be a, a father. You know, the joke is kind of the dad batch, but it really does seem to be that way. I just wish it, it showed maybe the harder parts of life. One of the toughest things, my mom always tells me about this, you know, one of the hardest things in life is, it's a very simple word, it's one syllable, but the power of no. Saying no, not the you know, I mean N-O. It's a very tough thing. And they say it a lot on the bad batch, but you, you never see the impact of it in the way that I feel it, sh it, it, it it impacted me. Maybe not that it should, but it impacted me. Because a lot of the times, um, especially as a kid, a lot of foolish decisions you can make, I made. And, and I needed somebody there to tell me right from wrong. And I wish that kind of, it kind of taught me a little bit about that more. And have confidence in myself to say no to those I care about. And so, Again, it's just an action adventure show. That's how I should enjoy it. But kind of something I wish it had more of. But on top of that, um, or uh, working against that, to be honest, the show is fantastic at, at delving into the relationships of of their protagonist, which is Omega. If you were a kid watching that show, I'm willing to bet you'd be very happy with how it is. You know, the kid is. Pretty rebellious, but on top of the rebelliousness, actually gets things done. And she's the only one who seems to have a lot of development in terms of um, like fighting prowess. The other guys, they, they seem to have peaked. <laughs> I haven't seen much in terms of the skill uh, kind of evolving. But for her, you know, you've been able to see how she's developed as a fighter. And, and that's that's pretty rad, especially for the kids. They love it. It ultimately is a kid show. You know, it's those things where uh, target audience might not be be me anymore. Clone Wars was my show and I will, I will always love it. I loved Rebels. But perhaps the show is maybe targeted toward uh, more kids. But even then there are, there are things that, um, number one, there are so many things I love. It really is one of my favorite shows ever. But it's just those things that I'm kind of rambling about here. Because um, as I'm kind of nitpicking it, you can kind of see that I'm not enjoying the show for, for it just being a show. You know, one thing that I loved about the first season for me because it came out during the summer is that I just I just kind of sat there and enjoyed it. I was working on my tech channel for YouTube. I just started it. This channel didn't exist at that point. I was just kind of learning about YouTube through that tech channel. And I was just kind of doing things because it was enjoyable. And the show itself was enjoyable for me. But now, because school has been so tough and stuff, I'm looking for things that are... Um, that I, I just don't I don't just enjoy for the moment I hope to give me like an extreme dopamine rush because I, I can't get a lot of like slow burn dopamine or whatever like um, 
I, I need something that can really make me enjoy the show or have a show that can really make me happy quick. I can't just have a show where I can sit there and enjoy it, but I have to like be like, wow, wow, all the time. And sometimes that's just not how life is. It's more like a slow burn. Sometimes you're going to have those wow moments. Other times you're not. And it, it's, it's kind of tough for me. Um, but there are other things that do that. I mean, I have fantastic friends who... There's no better therapy than being with your friends and having a good laugh. You know, those are those, are those wow moments that I'm missing. I guess I just need more of that. And so... Oh my gosh, I got that poor guy. And so, uh, this all kind of leads back to this morning. I don't mean to be a Debbie Downer, but I'm going to tie this to a lesson. This morning, I was talking to uh, my homies, because we had breakfast with the homies, is what I call it. It was pancake day. We work out together as a big group, and then we have pancakes together. And when we were having breakfast with the homies, they were asking me, like, have you ever had a semester... Or do you ever get that feeling of like dreading the end of a semester? Wherein you don't want the semester to end. And I was telling them, I was like, you know, it's been a long, long time since I've had one of those. And the only one that I've had in recent memory was last semester. And, and I was just sitting there and I, was, I, I said that. I instantly regretted it. Instantly regretted it. It's like, what the heck am I talking about? That is not inspiring. That's not giving any people any hope. That's just me being a Debbie Downer. And I can give myself an excuse and say that this semester's been a pain. But ultimately, it's, it's, it's my choice to... It's my choice to look at things in a better manner. Yeah, I'm, I'm working really hard, and sometimes I'm not getting... Okay, very often I'm not getting the results that I want. But it's my... It is to my responsibility to interpret that in a good way or a bad way. I just died. See, the thing is, I haven't really spent a lot of time kind of just thinking through things. I've just been kind of been moving. One exam after one exam. Did you just tell me what to do, sir? I spawned in and dude immediately said go help the alliance. I was like, absolutely. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> See the thing is, you gotta have fun like that, man. You gotta <laughs> you gotta enjoy your life. You can't be sitting here constantly doing this, that, and the other, or else you're gonna you're not gonna have a great time. You gotta have those moments where you decompress. It's so important that if you're not working, you better be doing something to make sure that you're healing and that you're resting. Because by golly, gosh, life is very tough, man. Life is extremely hard. And you got to make sure that you're able to take the punches and roll with them. And the only way to do that is by balancing things out or balancing things out okay. There are times where you can't balance things out. You have to work hard. I mean, absolutely. There's, there's no doubt about that. There's no antidote to, antidote to that. I'm in pharmacy school. I'm constantly studying. Constantly. I'm hearing complaints about it from everybody that I just don't have time for them. And it's... It's just hard. It's hard. But the moments that you'll remember most are absolutely going to be those ones that you share with the people who matter. And by gosh, it's so hard to convince yourself to, to get off from work sometimes. But you got to do it. You have to do it sometimes. Because if you're going to keep working 24-7, you're going to burn out. And you're not going to be working as effectively as possible. Now, hang on. Let me go switch maps real quick. And now we're on Coruscant, which is the closest map to, um, to Manan. But what I was saying is you, you, you have to make sure that you're, you're well rested. So then you're kind of excited to study. You know, I mean, yeah, good luck. I've been trying to gaslight myself into not being burnt out. It's been pretty tough. Um, but if you can try to force yourself to be excited about things or to at least be mildly entertained by it, you surely have a good time. I mean, look at how happy I am now that I'm playing this game. My gosh. I'm so happy. It makes me, it fuels me, man. You need something that fuels you. This fuels me. My girl fuels me. My friends fuel me. All those things, they benefit you greatly, especially in those tough times. So you need them. You got to go find them. And you also got to work to make sure you have them. So it's definitely, it's another lesson. But that's, that's just something that you got to be able to do. You got to rest at some point. A little bit, not not too much. Now, not too much. 
But you gotta make sure you have a little bit of rest and digest when you're when you're doing those, especially like sprints. You know, when I'm when I'm studying, I'm I'm doing marathons plus sprints. You know, like I'm studying. Uh, I'm studying all the time, every day, and then sometime I have to I have to study really intense, really intense. I mean, like, I'm, I'm thinking nothing else. I'm just walking around a room to keep myself awake for 12 hours. And I'm, I, I get out of there, and I've got about a marathon's worth of steps. So <laughs> I'm telling you, man, infectious disease, it, it's a toughie. Antibiotics, I can't believe it. But we're here now. We're working hard. That's what you got to do. You'll be proud of yourself afterwards. No? Oh my gosh, what are you doing here? Get out of here, man. Alright, here's the plan, troops. Since we're on, well, it's Coruscant, but since we're on Manan, this is how it happened. Infantry were fighting very tough. Very tough. And we gotta make sure... Oh, man. The Empire's got a good emplacement here. They've got great positioning. I gotta flank them somehow. Let me get this guy. Oh, nice hit, nice hit. Oh, that's our guy. That's our guy. Come with me, come with me. Let's flank them together. You and me against the world. Okay, I'm not hitting this guy right. Chewbacca? Here, let's get this. Good flank, good flank. Excellent work. Real thermal detonator. <clears throat> did my did I lose my guy? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. 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 We're <laughs> Chewy. Chewy. Let's go. You're gonna be frontline work, I think, right? You're a pretty good frontliner. Especially under a shield. Oh my gosh. Alright, ground slam here. Yeah, you definitely are pretty good front line. Oh, but hold on. Mighty roar here, troops. Alright, let's push up. Let's get these guys out of here. Get out of here. I am a Wookiee. You can't do nothing against me. Okay, yes you can. Yes you can. Yes you can. Hey, how you doing? Alright. Watch out, trooper. Watch out. Watch out. We got ranged enemies inbound. I gotta clear this room. Hey, what's up? <laughs> oh my goodness, that's amazing. Chewbacca's a great hero. Fantastic for aggressor. He can he can definitely hold a point too. Good offense. Nice, nice. <laughs> All right, let's move. We got on their flank. Hey, 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 don't call me that. <laughs> I'm not that hairy. <laughs> well, I mean, Chewie is, but come on out. Excuse me, everybody. Excuse me. Who said that? Who said Who <laughs> asked me that? Excuse me, everybody. I'm the one who's I'm the one who's helping you out here. Get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> move, 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 everybody. Get out of the way. I'm coming in. Oh, rah. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Oh, rah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm in too deep. I'm in too deep. No, 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 no. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Get him. Get him. Get him. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're getting me. Where are my troops? Where are my reinforcements? Oh. <laughs> okay. Woo. All right. That was great. That was excellent. Um, we're probably going to lose the point, though, because I... <laughs> I don't think my my own guys are gonna be too effective. Also, I'm not gonna be too effective. It seems like we got a turret though. We do have a turret. Um, let's see if I can suppress their position. Yeah, that's not even our turret. That's theirs. Yikes! Yikes! Okay. <laughs> Yikes! Close quarters combat. I'm gonna need an X-wing pilot. I'm gonna need your DL44, buddy. Okay, I missed every shot. <laughs> What's happening to me right now? Oh, grenade! Oh my gosh! Oh my goodness! Hold this position, troops! Hold the position! Please! Don't lose the position! It took me so much to get here! Ooh, ooh, grenade, watch it! Get that turret online. We start getting these guys. Oh, we've got another turret. Turret versus turret? <clears throat> Excellent work. All right, we cleared them out. All right, let me see if I can get these guys here. Oh, oh, beautiful. Excellent. Oh, not great job. 
Henry. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh. <laughs> you know, one other thing that I gotta say that I absolutely love about this channel is the amount of love that these videos receive. It's, it's just incredible. There are, there are a lot of you guys who put in comments that are, that are so sweet. Uh, saying like, commenting for the YouTube gods or something. It's like, my gosh. You know, just the fact that you guys are doing that for me, it's it's very kind. I love that. I love when, when you guys, I love when people do those kinds of things. You know, they just do things to be nice. I had this guy, I, I'm currently recording in a green screen room in my college. Um, <clears throat> they changed the lock on me for some reason and I was just kind of stuck there, the, the pin to get into the room and I was just kind of stuck there. I was just kind of standing outside, kind of like, Kind of rubbing my head like what am i supposed to be doing here <laughs> like i'm trying to file like contact somebody and he just kind of sees me at the corner he's like um are you locked out and i was like yeah he's like let me see if i can find the code i was able to find it uh yeah i, I made another request and they sent me the code but it was just so nice having somebody there to kind of think about you to worry about you that was a very kind thing and i, I really appreciate when people do that uh, strangers out of the blue I wouldn't call you guys strange. I, in fact, would call you very lovely. But it's just nice when people do things that are nice to you to be nice. I don't know what the heck that noise is, but it's just nice having people do things for you. I love that. So. Let's see what we got here. We got some Imperial troops. Imperial troops have entered the base. Come on, let's go grab this. Grab this right here. Perfect. Victory soon. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like. Quick victory. Close victory. Oh my gosh. What's going on here? Hey. How you doing? <laughs> I don't know where these guys can hide in this map. It's so small, but excellent victory. And uh, once we're done with this, we're going to take out a Noat. Call it a day. Gosh. Oh, it's so good to be back, man. I love this game. I love both these games. They're so nice. Beautiful KD. <laughs> oh, but I can. <laughs> oh, man. I completely forgot that we also have to take out Naboo. So let's do that as well. We got to get Naboo. Got to get the space in Naboo so I can take out this Gazanti. Get a little bit of something. <laughs> so bring him in. We're bringing our fighters. And then, oops. <sighs> My apologies. I hit something. But we're going to bring in our fighters. Hit that Gazanti. And then what we're going to do is we're going to. I'm going to go in. And then take out <clears throat> the rest of the fighting force. All right, everybody. Let's move as a fleet. We do have a little bit of an issue in which there is an interdictor, if I remember correctly. So we can't actually hyperspace out of here. We're stuck. We're stuck. We're going to have to fight this together as a team. we got a boat cruiser with some fighters. He's going to help us out. We also got a couple of heroes. That would be nice. Oh. And we also have... Some Naboo Starfighters. Oh, beautiful. An actual kind of a bit of a fleet here. I'll take it. That's nice. Got the Millennium Falcon. We've got Luke and his X-Wing. It's good to hear. All right. All right, everybody. Let's get moving. Let's get moving and let's get grooving. He's bringing in his fleet. Dave is coming in close. We're going to have some close contact here. I immediately want to go after that interdictor. Enemy forces ahead. What do we got? All right, so we've got interdictor. We have what are these lancers, which are good against fighters. That is a tragedy. <laughs> that is a huge tragedy. All right, well, N ones, <laughs> N ones. I love the fact that you're free fighters. So grateful for it. I want you to go after the lancers. <laughs> Show me what you got. Show me what you got. The rest of the fleet will be coming forth. Actually, hold on. Pause. Fleet, let them come to you. N1s, though, you go to them. Go to them. Watch out against those Lancers. And then I want you guys stay here. <laughs> you guys stay here. Long probe, you can go. Kind of help them out, I guess. Buffing them a little. Um... Yeah, everyone else just kind of chill out. Don't do not do anything too crazy here. Alright, how's that Lancer doing? Not great. 
Looks like we're going to need the, the Y-Wing assistance. I think we're going to have to bring him in. Might lose some Y-Wings because of this, but it, it's just necessary because we can't get through unless we take that thing out. All right, Leia, I want you to move around. And Affion, I want you to get over there. Slowly push up. Slowly. Maybe not. Your shields are taking a little bit of a beating, it looks like. Fantastic. Lancer's getting hit. Lancer's getting hit by a lot, but not enough. Alright, Leia. Start hitting them Lancers. I need them gone. What is this? Diplomatic immunity. Beautiful. Immunity. I like that. Oh, perfect. Yes. Please retreat. Please retreat. Where is that thing? Do we get it? Did we take it out? Everyone just kind of... Everyone go in. Go for it. I, I don't know if we took out the... Uh, the Gazanti, but I hope so. Kind of, yeah, just kind of go for it, everybody. See if you can take that thing out. Um, gosh, if we don't get that Gazanti, I swear, that would be so bad. Oh, uh, no, we got it, we got it. Okay, we lost the Z95, but we got it. All right, what do we get out of that? Cargo raid successful, we got 11,000 credits. I could have used a little bit more, to be honest. It's kind of a tough battle, but okay. Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. All right, let's move out. Let's get to a NOAT. Want to move there next. Manan, you got some more defenses coming in, helping out. That'll be really good for you guys. You need it. Eridus. Oh, secret mission for you. Bring Ace as a mean to the orbit of Zar and steal a Lambda shuttle from their space station. Why? <laughs> what is the point of this? Is this for Endor? I think this is for the Death Star. Not now. <laughs> I am focusing on Battlefront. Maybe, yeah, maybe in the next episode I'll throw that in. But right now, ooh. Ooh! Another capital ship? Absolutely! That's an MCA to Freedom. It's a great ship. Fantastic. I think the elevator is working. Oh, no. Oh, I couldn't get Anoad in time? That is what it is. It is what it is. I'll go take it anyway. I have no qualms. I got here just in time for it. Just in time. But you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I lost support a little bit, but fine. I'll deal with it. Bring in the air support. I want some actual air support. Give me some troops on the ground. Get me some support. Give me some of you guys. Let's get Han this time. And Kyle Katarn we haven't used much at all. Use some of Kyle. And I want to bring in, want to bring them into the, uh, into our transport. Got my snipers. All right, let's get a suppression team in Bothans going in there. Actually, no, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> okay. You guys are going to go in the transport. Everyone else is going to move as a group. Get in there. Transport will provide you with assistance. All right. Move on over here. Rest of the troops, we're going to move east. They're going to go north, we're going to go east. We're going to see if we can get this command post over here. Man, what is this planet? I don't know what I can fight on in Empire or in Battlefront 2. Maybe Tatooine is like this. It's kind of red. But I guess maybe Tatooine. Drop these guys off for me, please. Thank you. All right. Let's keep moving. Move on there. You guys get over here. See what we got. Oh, you taking fire? Yes, you are. <clears throat> yeah, watch it. Hit him with some AT fire and turn around. Start guarding our guys if you can. Everyone get down. Um, okay. Snipers, fall back. You shouldn't be in the front. Honor Guard, get to the front. And everyone, get down. Kyle, what do you have? You just have a blaster? What do you do? <laughs> what do you do, Kyle? Like, what is your special ability here? Oh, flak cannon. That's not good. You're going to try to take out Riken, aren't you? That's not a good thing. We don't like that. We don't like that at all. Get down. Let Riken protect you over here. 
Seems like that thing can really take out the shields of Riken. <clears throat> All right, what do we got? A lot of just unique units. You guys fall back. Let's see, we got some anti-air. Got an infantry bunker. That's fine. My only concern right now is this position, actually. You're not doing too great. You can take out the infantry just fine, but the turret or the tank, not so. You might have to. Or I can do what you can against these guys. I don't think you're you're okay. Your weapon three is okay against them. Fantastic. He's 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 taking out the shields of my spec ops troops. So if you can kind of hit them a little bit quicker than that. Good job, Riken. Good job. All right. I'll hit this one. Nice, nice. We got them distracted. Good. And now they're going to bring in their counter force. Start moving up. Start moving up, everybody. <laughs> Look at these three heroes. We got Kyle, we got Han, and we have Riken. Or, uh, wait, is that Kyle, Han, and Leia? <laughs> I'm so sorry. All right, get up there. Okay, I'm going to have you guys position up here. <clears throat> Riken, we can use the support. So if you can come up here, kind of open up on them a little bit. Hit these guys. Nice, nice weaponry. He's got some sort of howitzer um, fire, like, like some sort of artillery. <laughs> His guns are very impressive. I didn't know he was that good. <clears throat> I thought he was just kind of just some funny transport but no he actually has some effective weaponry it's very good and I'm not privy to who Riken is he's from the EU but I don't know from where let's meet up our troops over here alright buddy what else we got here everybody start opening up on him by taking out the building. Right, can give me some scout action, please. I guess we didn't need it. Excellent victory. We didn't get the reward for taking out a Noet. We literally just got here. But, hey, you know what? At least I got it. All right, and now we're in Dagobah. I couldn't find any map that um, really pairs well with a Noet, so I thought it kind of looks swampy. So might as well throw my troops on Dagobah. We've got quite a little, little group here. But we should be able to do just fine, just as the boots on the ground did. I don't think I lost any troops either on the way to Dagobah, so we should be doing fine. <laughs> it's crazy because I'm, I'm recording right now and I have to go to class like right after. So I have to be very subtle with uh, my microphone that I have on me. I'm just thinking about that. <laughs> I have it in like this blue bag. Uh, Amazon pharmacy bag that I got from the career fair and I'm just gonna have it kind of just next to me oh my god <laughs> I'm getting spawn killed all right all right I gotta position myself properly get everyone everyone fall back get to cover and now I can start fighting or a grenade out there maybe grenade or two give me another grenade toss one all right Oh my gosh, dude, I, wow. Instantly, instantly. Oh, this guy too, ooh, he spawned in, got really hit. Oh my, oh my. Fall back, fall back, they've got troops. They've got troops everywhere. <laughs> dude, they're everywhere, <laughs> they are everywhere, and this guy's got aimbot. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is supposed to be an easy battle, but we are actually, we are getting destroyed. Luke! Luke, we need help. Oh. We're gonna need some assistance, Luke. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. You got hit. Oh, my. This is gonna be a very tough, tough fight here. Alright, everybody. Get moving. Where am I headed? Looks like that command post is being contested. 
Oh my. Oh my gosh. <laughs> they're everywhere. Dude, they're everywhere. No, I gotta go on the offensive. I don't think I can just take a command post on my own. I need reinforcements to do that. Come on, everybody. Where are my guys? I'm holding them back for you. You guys should get to my position. Oh. Pull back. You let two guys pass me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Where are my teammates? Oh. Get out of here. You get out of here. Oh, speaking of flank them, yeah, I think I too have to. Let me do that. I can't, so as a hero, it, it's best to not tank shots. You, it's best to flank and go around. Get more of the enemy that way. The problem is you might step on mines on the way. So it's kind of a, it, it's a deadly trade-off here. Especially on this map, they love their mines, man. Teammates, teammates, please, where are you guys? Why did you die to him? Teammates, come here. Please, <laughs> they're getting to me. Finally. Yeah, they better be. My goodness gracious. Oh, there's a mine. See? You gotta watch out for those when you're flanking. Ah, this guy, he's got, he's got a lot of ammo. Get out of here. You too. Uh, all right. Oh, watch out for that mine. Woohoo! There are a lot of them. I didn't expect that. Oh, I didn't. I didn't expect that. Get out of here. All right. Good. Finally, my guys are doing something. No, I can't be in this. You deal with them. You go deal with them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Another. How are they taking so many? Oh, where are those mines? Where are they? These guys are easy. Get out of here. Alright, where are the- ah. Excuse me. Jeez Louise, scaring me. These guys are everywhere. Uh, let me help my guy out. Ah, Alright. Alright, so how many command- Okay, they got one command post left. Now they're going to have two because that one's being contested. Alright, I can take that one though. That's fine, that's fine. I got this. I got this. Just like in the Battle of Anoet, Luke... Was Luke even a part of it? <laughs> Kyle was. I don't know if Luke was a part of the battle. Get out of here. <clears throat> alright, move. Alright, alright. Good. Good kill, good kill. I've got three troops left. I should be able to take this one out myself. Where is he? I hear some shooting in the distance. Anybody know where he is? Anybody know? Oh. One one went down. There's one down here. Hey! <laughs> ah, there he goes. <laughs> That's a good ending. Just pounced, brother. All right. And look at that beautiful KD. See, we won. We did it. Very good, everybody. So, thank you very much for watching. That was uh, Empire War, but it's realistic. But we play every battle in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So, without further ado, my name is Sears. Spell like Cyrus, pronounce like Sea Rooster. Just take out the tur. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.